Hello and welcome to this demonstration of the Tanberg Model 1200X stereo tape recorder from 1969. Uh, the Model 1200X uh, was in a way a first and a last for Tanberg. It was their first machine with the cross field biasing system whereby the high frequency bias it is introduced on the opposite side of the tape using a special bias head. At the same time, it was one of the last, I should say, machines in this particular style of case with a dark grey uh, top and a completely wooden case, in this case made of, of um, teak. And there are other videos I've made that, that demonstrate some of the typical quirkiness of Tanberg machines, so I won't go into that here. Instead, we'll go through this particular machine uh, very briefly. We have the on-off switch counter that counts revolutions of the right-hand uh, reel. Reset button for the counter, five position joystick, wind, uh, rewind, wind, play down, and the special Tanberg free position up. Uh, playback volume control, two concentric knobs, left at the top, right at the bottom. A knob marked normal special, which is not very easy to understand what it actually does. It's mentioned in the manual. I'll go into those details later. Uh, record playback amplifier switches for the left and right channels a pause button, start-stop, two microphone inputs, a recording level and uh, volume control, recording level control, left and right channels concentric, as for the playback volume, an input level, uh, sorry, an input selector, line or microphone at this position, it records through the line level inputs, uh, unless you have a microphone plugged in and then it records from the microphone instead. Pickup is for recording from a record player, using the inputs on the back, and Mixer Mono is a special position where it mixes the line uh, microphone inputs and the uh, record player inputs. Uh, but that only works in mono. What you get is you get, I forget which one, I, you get the uh, microphone on one of these and uh, the record player on the other one. So you can mix between the two, but then you only get a mono signal for recording in mono. And there's your treble and bass controls and uh, loudspeaker selector, internal, internal, plus external, and the inter external position to the right, and a three position tape speed selector. So that's about it. Uh, playing a tape, I've already loaded it up, so we'll just put it on play. And we have sound in the speakers. This machine has got two built-in speakers, one on the left and one on the right. Pause button does that. And you press stop, fast wind forward, or you can fast wind backwards. And we'll now do a, a small demonstration of a uh, recording using a microphone. So we're just going to wind the tape to the start of the tape because that's where there's some free space. And what we usually do here is uh, set the machine in record mode, but before that I'm going to uh, just show you briefly the microphone I'm going to use. This is the Tanberg TM4, which was not delivered with this machine, but it was available from Tanberg at about the same time as the machine was made. So I'm going to make a recording on the left-hand channel. Uh, being a reel-to-reel -reel recorder, I can record separately on the left and right channels and also listen separately to the two channels. So I'm going to make a recording on the left-hand channel, and I do that by putting the uh, record play amplifier switch in the, in the left-hand uh, recording position. If I let go, it springs back, unless I also set the tape in motion or I can pause it. And as you see, there's a recording level here. Um, the indicator shows that there's a signal, and that's what we're going to record. This is a recording on the left-hand channel, on the left-hand channel of the tape. I'll listen to that, and we'll just simply... This is a recording on the left-hand channel. Now, uh, that was played back in the left-hand speaker. If I want to hear it in both speakers, I can do that by setting the right-hand channel switch in the amplifier position which uh, tape in motion. Record. this is a recording on the left hand channel and that places it in the right hand speaker as well so you get a mono signal in both speakers if I want to record on the right hand channel um, I can just leave the microphone where it is or I can plug it into the right hand channel being a re mono recording it mixes both the uh, left and right together uh, so I do the same thing put the tape in the stop position so I can set the recording level and then let's go and uh, in this case, I can listen 
to the recording on the other channel by turning the volume control up. So I can actually make it two synchronized recordings, one on each track, which is great for language studies or playing music with yourself. So we'll back up, and if we want to listen to just this track without listening to the other one, we put the left-hand channel in the uh, amplifier position. We play back, and the other channel we only hear the, the one we just recorded. If I put both channels in the playback position, so I can actually make it two synchronized recordings, one on each track. I think I'll have to go back to the start of the tape here, so I can we can listen to both of them. And then this let's is go. a recording on and the left hand channel, in this case, the left hand channel of the tape. listen to the recording on the other channel by turning the volume control up. So that's the recording and playback process. If you want to record in stereo, you of course put both switches on the left hand to the left hand side, and as you can see by the indicator, there's only a signal going in on the right channel because that's where my microphone is connected. Um, if you want to use the recorder just as an amplifier, you put both switches in the amplifier position, and if I don't get a howling here, I'll, you, you might hear a slight change of sound as I, as the um, volume, uh, sound is, is uh, amplified by the, by the recorder. The difficulty here is that there's no way, uh, apparent way, if you want to re take a mono signal like I've got and play it back in both channels, uh, but what you do, that's what the, where the special selector comes in. If I put it in special, I actually get uh, it's not obvious from the recording here, but you get you get the sound in both loudspeakers. The special switch has a special normal switch has has one other uh, function, and that's to uh, actually, if you want to listen to one channel while playing back, uh, listen to one channel while using the other one as a microphone amplifier or as an amplifier for any input signal. So if I um, if I play back a tape and put the right hand channel, or the, sorry, the left hand channel in the amplifier position, that means I'd normally listen to the right hand listen to the track in both loudspeakers, but by putting the special switch in the special position, I can actually uh, play back the tape the and also the use the microphone as an amplifier, um, or uh, the tape recorder as an amplifier. So one channel plays back, the other amplifies, which really would be the natural um, situation when that you'd expect intuitively if you put one switch in the amplifier position, but they've decided to use that as a playback track uh, selector by default, and then only use this special function of, of using one as a as a true amplifier of, of incoming signals, together with the playback function on the other channel, when the normal special switch is in the special position. So that's about it um, on this particular machine. The, the belt is in, in fairly good condition and so are the clutches, so it winds fairly nicely uh, back and forth. The tape counter works um, and the auto stop works, whereby is, is when there's no tape in the machine it'll automatically shut off at the end of the reel and you'll see here that both reels will eventually stop by themselves. And This is a great feature, um, otherwise the tape would whisk around making an awful lot of noise. So there you have it. This is the Tanberg Model 1200 X, and um, uh, thank you, and goodbye.